Hey everybody, it's Matty Van Halen. If you're looking for Fit for Expedition, you found him. Let me know, Kelly, if you see us uh, something that's like a dome around here. You, you know what? There, there might be a giant in front of the dome that's covering it. That could be the problem. Uh, there's a sign for it. Welcome Sky Dome. Maybe it's behind this thing. Yeah, is it behind that big white thing? We haven't found the dome yet, but we did find something else. This is the J. Lawrence Walk-Up Sky Dome, where the Northern Arizona Lumberjacks play both football and basketball. What is known as the Muffler Man was only built for about 9 or 10 years between the 60s and 70s. Um, but it actually started as a lumberjack and the very first one was built for a cafe in Flagstaff uh, or at least it was first placed at a cafe in Flagstaff called the Lumberjack Cafe. It was originally named the Paul Bunyan Cafe but they found out that there was a copyright issue so they changed it to the Lumberjack Cafe. Uh, later on that statue was donated to Northern Arizona University and it is this statue that we're looking at. This is the very first uh, Muffler Man or Paul Bunyan statue. The original Lumberjack Muffler Man was uh, created by Bob Pruitt in California in around 1960. This is the one, that, the very first one that he created. Northern Arizona University is NAU and their mascot is the Lumberjack. And the Lumberjack, you will notice, resembles something that we call the Muffler Man, but it's a Muffler Man who carries an axe and looks like a lumberjack. These Paul Bunyan slash Muffler Men are approximately 18 to 25 feet tall, and they're basically a type of statue. It, it's not really all the same statue. I mean, you've got a variety of advertising figures out there, but they're not all, they're not all by the same artist and they're not all made by the same molds. Over time they became known as muffler men because they were promoting a product and quite often that product was a muffler. Now they've, they've made uh, variations of them. I've shown in previous videos a uh, cowboy, a miner, and a lumberjack. Also a pirate. Well he was a pirate but um, had been turned into something else. There's also another lumberjack inside of the Sky Dome, but it was also donated by the Lumberjack Cafe. So the axe held by this muffler man, or lumberjack, actually predates the muffler. If you look right there, you can see some gouging right there. I don't know if that's from falling over maybe at some point or just stress fractures, possibly. It does look like there could have been some repair work right down there. You see that ribbon? The thing about this lumberjack is that there's a cable that's not attached to his right ankle, but it is attached on the left side. And here's the example of the left leg with the cable that's holding him down to the ground. And then it's got two cables up there. 